What's up, people? You have found the Kale Report, and I'm Scott Killian. Today, we're going to talk about a new gimbal that I've got, and this is actually the third one I've had to buy in the small amount of time I've had this channel, and I'm going to let you know if it's a KO or just okay. Stick around. <laughs> Welcome back to another installment of the Kale Report. I am so glad you're here. My name is Scott Killian. As I said in the opening credits, I have a brand new gimbal that we're going to check out. And I'll be honest with you, I've ordered it and forgot what it was. I know it's a gimbal, but I don't know the name brand. So we'll, uh, we'll go back and uh, put that in. But this is my third gimbal that I've used since having my channel. Now, I started my YouTube channel back when COVID had everybody at home. Uh, if you look at my early videos, you can actually see my hair getting longer and longer and longer uh, because we couldn't leave the house. Uh, and honestly, it started as a way for me and my kids to do something. My uh, teenager at the time, who's now 16, so she was 14, going on 15 at that time. Uh, it was something for us to do together. Uh, and the first gimbal that I've got was a Zion Smooth 4. And it was a great gimbal. But somewhere along the line, I got a bigger phone. And with the bigger phone, the arm had a hard time. It would, it would hold the camera and then it would just sag all at one time. Uh, it would be a slow transition and just bloop. Uh, so I had to buy a little clip to go onto it and some screw in weights, which I have probably uh, out in my vehicle. Um, and I wanted to buy a bigger, uh, newer, gimbal and the, the Zion was so good that I thought why not go back with another one and I purchased the Zion 5 and the biggest thing about this was it was stronger motors to support the bigger phones also one of the cool things about it let's see if it has a image here it does have a light that comes on the top uh, if you're doing rear facing the arm when it swings out actually had a light on it and I don't see anything here with a picture on that. Uh, but I bought the whole kit. So it had the carrying bag, the gimbal, uh, the tripod that it comes with, a membership card for something. I honestly didn't use it. And then a light to click on it. So you actually had two lights, one on the arm that went behind the phone. So if you were recording from uh, the rear facing phone versus our rear facing camera versus the front facing camera, it would uh, give more light out. I thought it was going to be great. I downloaded the new software from Zion to use it. And honestly, it took me three or four different videos to just learn the basics where I was watching those. Uh, not that the creators of those videos were given bad information. It was just not easy to operate. So out with the Zion and in with the new one. And I actually sent, sent that one back. I forgot to send them the box, but I contacted the company. Uh, I went to their website. The drawback was Zion. Uh, their website was all in Chinese. And from the name, I probably should have known that. Uh, I did find a US based um, support system and contacted them and said, listen, I know I didn't buy this from you directly, but it was purchased from Amazon at this store at this date. And a week went by and I heard nothing from them. Uh, so I contacted Amazon just seeing if maybe I could get them to help me. Maybe a bigger entity reaching out will carry more volume than just myself. Um, as I was speaking to them, they actually came across and said, listen, you're a prime member. Uh, we see when you bought it, we're going to do a one-time purpose, uh, a one-time adjustment for you. If you'll just send it back to us, we'll credit your account. And they were either going to credit back to the card that I paid with or put it on my Amazon credit. Uh, I was like, Hey, great. Give me an Amazon credit. And I immediately went in, uh, to start looking at top, uh, gimbals for 2023. The Zion five was in it, but it was ranked number five. Uh, also at its price point, it's, it was near 300 bucks. Uh, so it, you would think, and, and that was my thought process when I first got the original, the Smooth 4, that spend a little more money, you get a little more. Uh, but I do a lot of traveling and we'll grab this box again. So you can see the case of this. 
Uh, it was a separate bag. I, if I put it in my luggage, it just took up too much space. It wouldn't fit in my backpack easily, but then look at this. So I'm interested to see what this is. Let's take a look at it. I think it's a DJ. Here we go. DJI. And if you do any reviews on uh, YouTube, I'm sure you will see this. Uh, the DJI Osmo Mobile 6. One of the cool things about this that I really liked, it has a telescoping uh, handle on it. Also, it folds up to a small compact size that I could easily carry this with me anywhere I go. I'm gonna pause the video here and actually take this out of the box so you're just not seeing a lot of what I'm doing. Plus I wanna get my glasses on so I can read these uh, features and benefits. I'll be right back. Okay, got the specs on here. Try to get a little bit. Three axis stabilization, stabilization, quick launch, portable and foldable. Active track 5.0, meaning if you have a, uh, a target, it will track it as it's moving. Easy tutorials and one tap editing, built in extension rod. Uh, da, 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 da. There is a cable inside the tripod, the power cable, the storage pouch, documents, and the gimbal itself. Download the app on Apple or Android Store. And let's take a look. So open up. Unfold the creativity. Some information. There's a little lip here. Unfold the creativity. Inside here. It's the pouch. Quick start guide. Owner's manual. Safety guidelines. We'll get to that. Also the power cable. It is a uh, USB to USB-C. As we show you the inside of the box. Ah! Hopefully the uh, drop test is good. But look how compact that is. Now that's about four inches. At least that's what they told me in the military. So this thing, six inches tall, six and a half, maybe seven, it's hard to tell. Uh, so we got gimbal itself. Tripod, folds out. This thread piece in the bottom, thread it in. And the actual phone clip. So give me a moment here to figure this out and I'll be right back. So if you were wondering what I was using, a little bit of redneck technology, uh, whatever you want to call it, but what I was using while uh, in search for a gimbal, let me turn around. My backpack, I just made it a little indention here to set the phone on and using it there. So let's go back to that. Set up. You can see the positioning and things that I'd have to do prior to getting set for a video. All right. Quick start guide. Download an app. Gives you a website to go to with a QR code to this, aha, just pull straight up and it comes on here. Three, attach this. Woo, it's a magnet. Mm. That bad boy is strong too, watch this. Once you have it on, put your phone in place, and you're ready to roll. So I'm going to take a timeout. 
download the app and I'll start playing here a little bit. Check it out. Oh, I don't know if this is a I'm a golf ball retriever. So it does give you a pretty good stand. I'll say top to bottom. It's every bit of two foot. All right, let me get it uh, charged up and uh, we'll come back. All right, so I'm setting up this and it's telling me to do a recording and it flips the phone this way automatically. Now it's telling me to stop recording. Okay, so when I turn the gimbal on, uh, it went through a little tutorial. It, uh, you click the phone to it, you download the app, you start the app, you connect device, it'll find your device once your device is powered up. It will um, uh, connect to it, it'll ask for access to your microphone, your photos, uh, it'll ask if it can uh, track you. Uh, I don't know why everything wants to track. I didn't do the track. Uh, then it takes you through a little uh, five step uh, demo. Like you put your phone on and it automatically centered the phone vertically uh, versus landscape. It was more of a portrait and it asked you to record your first video. So I hit record and it was recording two aerosol cans behind the back of my TV for uh, air, like cleaning out my keyboard. Uh, then it asked to, uh, how to track something, how to take a photo, two or three different things and how to switch the camera view from forward facing camera to rear facing camera. And then actually how to get it horizontal or uh, landscape design versus portrait, which is here we are. So I'm going to be playing with this. This is just an introductory to me. It's hard to say it's a KO or, or just okay, but right now it's serving its needs. It is currently charging. I'll come back later and maybe do a uh, another review on this product to let you know if it's KO or, or just okay. But right now I'd have to say a KO, brand new out of the box and it's working as expected. I don't want to uh, bore you with a lot of things. So uh, unless something just goes away, you may not hear about this uh, anymore, but moving forward, this will be used for filming all of my videos. Uh, once again, I'm Scott Killian. Thank you so much for checking out the Kale Report. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I know my content is simple, but it's to the point. Thank you again for watching. Take care. So I enabled the tracking feature using my face. So if I move over here, it moves over here. If I move over here, it comes over here. That's kind of neat. I stand up. It didn't go all the way up with me. If I get low, it's moving to the side with me. Hi there. Hey, there you can see my kid's play set. So I have to share my office with the nine-year-old. Otherwise, I got my little corner here. <laughs>
too bad of a zoom. You can almost read the small print on that can from here. This is all the way back. All right, last test here. Let's walk with it. See how smooth it works. Rainy day. Seems to be pretty smooth though. I've got the tracking with me, so if I go. <laughs> I like it. I'll go ahead and tell you KO. Decision made, quarter adjourned, jury's in, let's go eat.